Hello everyone and welcome back to Codeflix. So I got many requests from people stating that they don't know how to connect to database using the PHP code. So in this video, I will share with you two methods how to connect to database using your PHP code. So let's start with that. So I'll open the PHP tags. And first of all, I'll declare some variables, which is the first is the server name. And that will be localhost. Then the next is your username. And that will be the username of your DB, the database username. Then that will be the password, which is the password of your database. And the last one is DB name, which is the name of the DB. It's in the small letters. And uh, I'll tell you how to see the name of the DB. So here is the name of the DB which we want to connect, which is test, and we'll connect with the test DB. Now there's one simple line to create connection. And that is we'll initialize a dollar con variable my SQLI underscore connect. It shows in the suggestions. Then we'll first give the server name. Then we'll give the username. Then we will give the password to the DB. And then we'll give the DB name. And that's it. This is the code to connect. Now we will check if connection has been done or not. MySQLI underscore connect underscore error no. So this is one of the function to detect if the connection made has an error or not if there's an error we will echo something like failed to connect this is one of the errors which we will display and then we will do an exit from the connection or we can just close the connection if it's not made and then if it's connected successfully we will echo that connection success and that's it for the connection code oops here we'll give a semicolon and the error has gone so here also a semicolon so this is the code to connect to the database now we will test this code i will write the path quickly and then db.php and it says connection success so this is the first method of how to connect to the database using PHP. Now we will see the second method to connect to the database using PHP. So we will remove this code. And now we will be using a try catch block here. And we will be using an object oriented method which is equal to new PDO which is a functionality provided by the PHP itself to connect to database then MySQL then first we'll write the host name which is dollar server name then colon and DB name which will be our dollar DB name and that's it and then we'll be giving our username which is the same as the our method password and that's it now we will be checking if the connection has been made so dollar con and then an arrow sign which I preferably call an arrow sign set attribute to oops sorry set attribute to the PDO this is a special ATR underscore error mode and then PDO and then error mode exception so this will catch the exception on its own if, if there is any otherwise we can print our message connection success and that's it for the try block now we will be going into the catch block to catch if there are any exception and so there is an exception already provided pdo exception and we'll be catching it in a variable dollar e and we'll be echoing the message error in connection 
and then we can also uh, concat the error which is dollar e get message function of the exception so that's it for the code and now we will test the code and we'll go to the local host oops it's local host says code flex and the name of the file is db.bg so it shows connection success now let's try by giving an error or let's try by giving changing the name so I changed the name of the database and now I will refresh it so it says unknown database test so it states the connection error the exception name and what the error is so unknown database test so there is no database called test here now I remove the extra t save it and run it again and it shows connection success so that's how we connect with database using the second method so i hope you like the video please share and subscribe if you like my channel thanks for watching